Milan Howard, Savon Smith, and the first start of his collegiate career for Ashton Snellsire, and he hands off on first down and gets the ball out to the 35-yard line, which will be a pickup of about three yards. Savon Smith. Tough opportunities, and then the first half, the second half, that old line got going, and Savon got going and really took over. Oh, so Snellsire's first pass is incomplete intended fighters, which was significant, of course, in a one-point win. Third and seven. Snellsire to the sideline. Pass is caught, but I don't think getting Rankin and Bryson Parker will split time with Mikey Jarmalowicz. Jarmalowicz will start the game for the Spiders. And the first play for Hampton going to the air. And the pass caught being engineered by Chris Zellis, the redshirt junior at quarterback who can run, and he does so on first down and gets out to about the 36-yard line. Quick. Elijah Burris is the starting running back. Zealous looks to throw, scrambles. He's going to use those legs again, cut it up to about the 40 and up to the 41 yard line, and he'll have another Hampton six from the 45. Haven't seen this run game get started yet, and this will be a run by Zealous to the outside, and the Spiders have that one absolutely smothered. Mikey Jarmalowicz, who is playing some great football from the Hampton 44. Back to throw is Zealous, and it's knocked down and incomplete. Trey Tomlinson was about a half a step away. Start from their own 20-yard line. Second offensive possession. Savon Smith takes the handoff but can't break an ankle tackle and picks up just a yard out to the 21. All week he would be an emergency quarterback only if needed today. Back to throw. Now Snellsire scrambles and he will be sacked. He goes down at the 19-yard line. That's something this Hampton defense has not been. Two receivers to each side of the football. Snellsire looks to throw. On the run again, lets it go and hits De Janeiro, but again, and this time the pass was actually knocked out of them so far, coming as the Spiders head coach. This is Darren Butts' first carry, and the Spiders zero in on him. Tristan Wheeler and Aiden Murray. Uh, buckle down and, and stop that pirate uh, uh, rushing offense today. Which it did last year in that win at Hampton. This is an entirely different Hampton team. This pass is completed on the near side of the field. And again, the Spiders with great coverage. Dorian Moulton for Hampton. Zealous wants to throw, but he's under tremendous pressure and throws it away. There's big number 99 again. Aiden Murray. Connect today with the two quarterbacks that will be in action. Here is the second one, Camden Coleman, the true freshman. His first collegiate play is a pass that's going to be caught, but it's going to be caught for Carolina. Would get a couple of series at least in today's game, and this is one of them. And he is on the run, running for his life, and he gets absolutely sandwiched. And then began his Richmond academic and athletic career in the spring, so he's part of spring practice. So he is a little bit ahead. His pass on a crossing pass to the 30-yard line, and again, not much doing there for Jerry Garcia, DeAndre Hall of FCS football. They've been unable to get untracked yet. This is a handoff to Elijah Burris, and he does have some running room this time. Picks up 10 before Tristan, 30 yards total a year ago. Now, the Spiders got way ahead early, and Hampton had a pass, and it was a different-looking Hampton team a year ago. Handoff again to Elijah Burris. He only gets a couple this time to the 39-yard line. Seven-yard game. On second down, Zealous is going to throw, and this one is caught up at the Spider 45-yard line. That'll be good for a first down. It gave some time for uh, the kind of the dig, drag to develop. Zealous has an opening. Now a little shovel pass to the running back, Darren Butts, who makes the catch, and Jared Joseph immediately drops him to the turf. You don't want to have uh, skill guys go to work. Second and six. Quick pass to the near side. Caught at the Spider 35-yard line. And Trey Tomlinson, 2% success rate on third down. This will be Butts looking to get it, which he does inside the 35 and down to the 33-yard line. And Hampton's doing a good job staying. He's benefiting them right now. Zealous with the ball in his hands. He lets it go on the crossing pattern to Burris, the running back. He's got good yardage inside the 25-0 at the Spider 20-yard line. 
Going to go up top again over the middle of the field diving and incomplete at the goal line intended for the big tight end TK Burris the running back to the left of Zealous. Burris takes the handoff, comes straight ahead, sheds tackles at the 10. It'll be first and goal for Hampton as Elijah Burris. Where you can improve, but you're looking to add some things to your offense, add some things to your defense, and looks like that's happened for Hampton. First and goal, Zealous keeps it himself, sidesteps a couple of tackles, and dances his way into the end zone for the first score this afternoon. A touchdown. I see this, I see this is no problem, but it was a one-on-one -on -one tackle. He just misses it. Zealous gives him the dead leg, cuts inside, gets into the end zone. Won't see that. Five-yard line, by far and away, their best field position here in the first half. Snellsire back at quarterback, handing it off to Milan Howard. What a great job Howard does to wiggle his way through to pick up four yards out to the 49 of Burris Butts. <laughs> but Savant Smith and Milan Howard, the Spiders will take that. Free Should play. be a free play here for Richmond. Hampton jumped off sides. Snellsire throwing, looking for Isaiah Wilson, but throws it out of bounds down the near sideline. Darren Burton on the coverage for Hampton, but this with great field position at the Hampton 46. Spiders will go for the first down, and they'll get it with number one, Milan Howard, to the 40-yard line for a gain of six yards here and there. Snell sire to Isaiah Wilson, and wow, does he get pancaked by Darren at the Hampton 42-yard line. A minute to go, first quarter. Quarterback draw for Snell sire, but wow, is he ever bottled up? DeAndre Falk is in there on that tack on third and 12. Three receivers to Snell Sire's right, one to his left. He's going to go left. He's looking for Isaiah Wilson, but over his head and out. And again, there was Darren Burton, the true freshman. Out of West. All right, Hampton starts at the 20 yard line. Zealous will keep the ball, run out to the 30 and pick up a first down. This is what we talked about. He can do it with his arm and he can do it with his legs. And right now Hampton is uh, finding all the spots and all the openings in that defense. Zealous throws quickly on first down and this one is caught on the near side by Abe Ugda again and he gets out to the 39 yard line. Hayes, who is the backup quarterback. Don't know if that's a tweak they've had in there. That pass is incomplete on the near side, or quite honestly, if that's not Malcolm Mick on third down today. This is third and short. The handoff, no, they keep the ball, and Tristan Wheeler came flying through to make the tackle. But that one hurts into Richmond territory at the Spider 46. Now it's butts on the handoff coming straight ahead in the middle of that spider defensive line stands tall and tough. Little confusion to Hampton offense. I understand that's tough when you got Zealous out there kind of running the offense, but throws over the middle on second down, and that pass is caught just a little bit shy of the first down. Get some pressure. Butts is the running back to the left of Zealous. Zealous keeps the ball himself, has plenty of running room. The first down and much more. Drags tacklers with him inside the 30 and down to about the 27 yard. Out the Spider 27. This time it's Burris and he gets stuffed. And down he goes at the Spider 25. Get this Spider defense going. Fourth year is the Spider defense coordinator, Hall of Famer in his playing days, down at Christopher Newport, close to Hampton. Second down at eight. Zealous fires it over the middle and incomplete boy he threw a fastball on that one and the pass is from the spider 25 they empty the backfield for Chris Zealous standing tall in the pocket firing and the pass is caught for a very short gain Tristan Wheeler on the in his wheelhouse in terms of uh, how far he can kick it. anything outside of this I think would have been a little too far it's a 40 yard attempt that has plenty of leg but it's no good he missed it wide to the left so the spider the quarterback Cam Coleman is at quarterback for this series for Richmond he's going to fire over the middle but he threw it low and incomplete looking for now one just a miss by the quarterback on that one Second and ten. Coleman tries again for the sideline, and this one is caught up at the 30. That's J.V. Coleman on third and two. Going to try to pass for it. 
Good protection. Coleman's pass again behind his intended receiver, J.V. on Griffin. He would have had the first down. Hampton starts at the Pirate 28. Handoff on first down and pick up out to about the 30. Three on a very simple looking play, Chris, but it does pick up five yards. That was a pickup of five. Burris gets the call again, and this time the Spiders able to make that play. Tristan Wheeler coming knifing through. Third and five. Zealous tries to go to the air, sidesteps a sack in the backfield, throws long downfield, and Copeland makes a diving catch inside the Spider 35-yard line. Great catch. Yeah, just kind of buckles. He's not sure if that's a knee. Uh, not like he was hit or anything. Just kind of went down. Those, those are the kind of ones you hate. Yep, grabbed that left knee immediately. But a big play for the Pirates. In Richmond territory, zealous on the run, has an open receiver again, and again it's Copeland. He has been the favorite target this afternoon. In the red zone, zealous flips it out of the backfield. Pass is caught by Burris, makes a great move, putting his foot in the turf, and is able to dart down to the one yard line where it'll be first. Places different people all over the field. And they are making plays. Not on this one, the handoff to Butts. Spiders did a good job on penetration that time. Still want to watch Zealous on the keeper. Nope, they oh. handed it off, and walking into the end zone is Tymeer Robinson. <laughs> Running back. Bryson Parker, uh, uh, Bryson Parker right there on the goal line. He's going to lose that every time. And right when the back goes right behind him, untouched. Walt. Things seems to go right. Defensively, you got a bunch of three and outs. Offensively, you're moving the ball. Spiders try to run it again with Savon Smith, gets some positive yardage. From the 36, new set of downs here. Snellsire downfield into double coverage, and this one is picked off. Stanley Garner has it, and he returns it close to midfield. And the Spiders, who had five turnovers last week. The receiver on the outside may have been open. Snellsire goes to the receiver on the inside. Double coverage. He wants to go to De Janeiro. I think he looked him up all the way. Uh, and so the safety, the corner, all eyes are on him. And that's a young guy. Just wants to go to someone specific. Probably had some other receivers open because he had plenty of time on that one. He's also the leading rusher with 37. Butts gets the carry here. Comes blowing up the middle across the 45 and down to the 43. And their Howard come from behind win. This is second and three. Play action fake. Penalty flag down, and Zealous goes down for the first time today. There's a quarterback sack, a food line. And the Spiders didn't give enough time, got to him, pressure got there, got the holding call. Second and 13. Zealous is going to keep it, but the Spiders do a very good job of containing him that time and drop him back at the scrimmage. And here they come, Zealous quick release. Pass is caught by Moultrie, but shy of the first down by about four yards. Uh, the, the offensive line hasn't done a great job on the run, but in terms of the passing game, they, they've given the quarterbacks time. They haven't been able to deliver. And the running backs haven't been able to find any room at all. Mylon Howard fortunate to turn that right corner. Mark, as you said, in this offense. Trips receivers left. Coleman throws left for the sideline, coming back to make the back shoulder catch as JV on Griffin up at the 31 yard line. Needed that big play. A 21 yard play. Now the handoff to Mylon Howard, and again, it has been tough sledding running the football. Howard does a nice job, though, to knife through there. Not only does he pick up five, but he stopped even with him going out of bounds, but this half has just flown by. Coleman quickly to Jerry Garcia, bounces it to the outside, but that is as good an open field tackle as you're going to see. Jordan don't really seem in a hurry. No, they do not. On third and five, Coleman has to scramble to his left, to his right, and there's going to be a meeting at the quarterback by the Hampton Pirates down at the 29. Usually determines how you, how you play the, the last minute. And they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter also. Zealous is going to run up the middle of the field, gets out to about the 33-yard line, so he got about five. 
on first down. Matei Fitz. The Spiders. Jay Ackle there. Give him four. Call it second and six. They're right up on the ball. The handoff goes to Burris, and there he goes straight up the middle of the field, across the Big Red Spider, and into Richmond territory. Spider 46 now. Zealous quick pitch to the near side. Kamari Gray with the catch, and down the sideline, inside the 30, and down to the 29 before Angelo <laughs> catch all year coming into today. He just got that one for 17 yards. From the Spider 29, zipped over the middle of the field and incomplete. Wayne Galloway almost got to it. Gets to go before halftime. Hampton knows where they need to get to be in field goal range, so they're taking some shots. And is that one caught? That did is. he get a foot inbounds? He Kamari did. Gray again. And he makes the catch, <laughs> winning that. I'm surprised they're not stopping the clock there. And they do. The whistles came late. The replay booth just to our left. Finally, Butts is the running back. Zealous is grabbed from behind, and down he goes at the seven-yard line. That's about as good a defensive play as we've seen from the Spiders here in the first half. Yeah, one of the best teams I've ever seen, that Patrick Henry squad. Second and goal from the seven. Zealous throws for the end zone into double coverage and incomplete. And he was smart with that ball. He made sure he didn't turn it over. And he'll go attempt pretty much straight away for Tristan Heaton. Try and make this a three score game before halftime. And he does. So Heaton adds to the Hampton lead with one second to go before halftime. So 23, 185 yards through the air. Nine carries, 41 yards on the ground. He's going to hand it off to Elijah Burris on first down. He gets two. Good start for the Spider defense. Short gain, just a couple of yards. Burris, the leading rusher in the first half with 53 yards in the win over Stony Brook. Second and eight. Zealous keeps it himself, and the Spiders with excellent penetration. Mikey Jarmalowicz looking healthy and makes a tackle for law back at Holy Cross and is actually out with an injury right now. Zealous looks for some running room. He's not going to find it this time. Extremely well contained by the Spiders and the Richmond defense is going to coordinator Winston October who's normally in the box down on the sideline. So maybe he feels like hey I need to be down here in the ear of these uh, young quarterbacks. A little counter there to Mylon Howard gets it out to the 29 yard line Sean. In October on the sidelines now call him that he needed to be on the sideline to talk to his guys in the second half. There's a perfectly thrown ball to JV on Griffin by Camden Coleman. The drills some tempo after the 15 yard completion but not on this play. Wow. What a terrific hit as the Spiders doesn't get the block that that's going to be necessary for that play to have a chance. Second and 13. Coleman back to the air over the middle and in and out of the hands and incomplete. Jerry Garcia six on third down. Coleman scrambles sideline low throw and incomplete. Couldn't find anybody open. He had good protection but could not find a receiver and the Spiders will be forced to punt. 17 year old son is in our booth as our spotter today Owen. <laughs> So that's really something you got going there, Chris. But again, happy birthday to Matt Smith. Spending it with us. No place he'd rather be than with the Spiders this afternoon. Well, it's only four plays in, but this Spider defense, this looks like a completion. And this Hampton team through the first three games was minus four in turnovers. Well, that pass was in the air for a long time to the far side of the field. Trey Tomlinson makes the ankle tackle. He's having a day. Over there on Kamari Gray. Hampton three for eight on third down conversions. Third and eight here. Zealous under pressure throws and there's the interception that the Spiders were looking for. Angelo Rankin with his first. There's great coverage so he has to hold the ball longer than he wants to. Gets pressure at the last minute. Puts it up. Angelo Rankins is, is playing uh, soft. He's low. Uh, you know gets back there. Gets under it and secures the interception he has. Some coverage over top. Heck, he knows defense. He knows turnovers. Words out of his mouth. The Spiders respond. Can the offense respond? The reverse. Jerry Garcia turns the corner. 
down to about the 38 yard line. So now Winston October. He doesn't have that drop pass, but you get the ball right back to him. Second and five, better chance. Savon Smith picks up a first down and more to the 30 and gets pushed out of bounds at the 29 yard line. Savon's best run side of that offensive line from the 29 of Hampton Coleman for the end zone far side and throws it beyond the end zone looking for De Janeiro. But again he was well cut. Play. It's the first time we've thrown the ball on first down so I see coach October is trying to be you know less predictable. Second and ten. Coleman on the run. He's got Griffin at the 25 gets as much as he can down to the 20 and plays dials up here. Third and two from the Hampton 21. Coleman pumps once fires has a man between the hash marks to Savon Smith coming out of the backfield. Now you might see your quarterback draw here. Nope they're going to pass it in an empty backfield and wow tough pass by Coleman. He really put Savon Smith in a tough did not there. Second and ten from the 18. Rolling the pocket and look out Coleman's going to get unceremoniously thrown down that roster is 54 who made that tackle third and long Coleman over the middle he's got De Janeiro to the 10 and he gets tackled just shy of the first down by the they're going to go for it. Coleman's going to throw for it over the middle and he's got the pass completed to Nick DeGenero and he's got the first down at the seven yard line across the field but you got to give your quarterback time so the offensive line is doing a great job first and goal from the seven over the middle this one is caught for the spider touchdown that's the Richmond tight end Brooks Haggerty who grabs it for the first points of the day where they are and we got to get this touchdown looks him up puts it right in his bread basket. There is the first collegiate touchdown pass for that young man. Camp coach Winston October, the off co-offensive coordinator. He did mention to Cam a couple of a couple of plays earlier. Throw the ball away. Don't take that sack in that situation. But here comes a big run for Elijah Burris, and look out! This is what he can do, and he does it again, all the way into Richmond territory to the Spider. Down. He got 37 yards on that one. Zealous throws, pass caught, but an excellent defensive play again by Rankin. Well, that run by. Mm -hmm. Butts the running back takes the handoff ran into his own blocker in the backfield and then the spiders smother him for a tackle for loss. That'll be a minus one on that run for. I'm all eyes on number 11 Copeland right here. Let's see if zealous is as well. He's throwing long and incomplete overthrow his intended receiver. That was been tough one on Fitz and the spiders. Zealous crossing pattern complete at the 15 yard line. Kamari Gray having his best game of the season. Picks up 10 and another first down. Chance from the Spider 16. Same Zealous play. over the middle. Incomplete. He threw it behind the tight end. Paisant. And it'll be the second half. He was untouchable in the first half. He'll run the ball here and no one's going to touch him. He's going to go into the end zone easily from 16 yards out. Can't do it much better than that. There is a flag. Zealous. No pressure. Over the middle. Looked like there was a push off there and a drop pass. For sure. Jared Joseph was on the coverage on the tight end. Pays on. Who couldn't hang on to it. Empty backfield out of the gun. Wheeler one on one down here with the back. Zealous's pass is caught over here on the near side. Get as much yardage as Elijah Burris can. And another penalty flag. It's like another hole. Goal range from the Spider 36. The third and 30 here. Zealous steps up in the pocket. He's going to run and he's going to be tackled. Outstanding open field tackle by Wayne Galloway. I know because we're so low on the depth chart, you don't want to run your quarterback, but he's, he's got to be a threat. Pass over the middle. Really had no chance of being caught looking for Landon Ellis. Second and 10. That's Garcia in motion. 
out of the backfield. Again, that play has done nothing all day. If, if the Pirates have defended anything better than that play, I don't know what it is. The situation they don't want to be in, yeah. third and eight. We saw a lot of this first half. Hampton Pirates coming with pressure. Coleman throwing for the sideline, and it's incomplete. Again, their defensive backs have 70, 80 yard uh, drive yet. Hand off to Darren Butts. Oh, he just got tripped up. He was seeing nothing but green turf in front of him and rushing about 100 below their season average. Now we still got another quarter to go. And there goes Butts again to the outside. And he's got more green turf in front of him. And he's getting rolling down to the Spider 45 yard line. And Robertson on the sideline, our Spider TV crew. We go to the fourth quarter. First and 10, Hampton. Butts this time gets stonewalled right at the line of scrimmage. Look at all those red jerseys there to make the stop for no gain. To the second and 10 from the Spider 45. Now it's Burris in the game looking for some running room and another good tackle made by uh, 19 of 29 through the air, 203 yards. Over the middle, has a man wide open. He makes a perfect throw, great route, and a first down to the Spider 20. In, in, in the field in route. Quite the homecoming for Abe Ugda, the, Colo the uh, Clover Hill product out of Midlothian. And now Hampton will try and wear him down with that great running game. That'll be enough. His reads are mixed up. Hopefully it will be cleaned up all the next series. First and 15 here, the handoff to Butts, fakes right, goes left, but runs right in to a couple more spider tacklers. And down to us, no Grant. On second and 14. Zealous down the sideline and knocked away, almost intercepted down there, but that's about as good. First and 10 from the 11. Zealous throws, and there's the completion to Malcolm Mays. Again, assuming the number Zealous down here on the quarterback keep. There it is. And there are the Spiders to stop him at the five yard line. No. But there's another flag. And a out of that big eye formation. And there's a terrific Spider defensive play. You know who that is? That's TJ. This will be play number 69. For Hampton. Watch the jump pass down here. Handoff comes straight ahead, and Camden Bird makes a good tackle on Elijah Burris just inside the five, where it'll be third and goal. Seavers to his right, third and goal. Zealous oh, for open. the end zone, wide open touchdown. Dorian Moultrie with the touchdown reception. Easy pass from Chris Zealous. There had to be some confusion on the back end. Might have been a little, a little bit of a pick, but you're not going to get that call when you see, anytime you see safety. But time is as much the opponent as Hampton, and Hope Hampton has been a really good opponent today. This is a tough one because the Spiders, now you have to find a way to score quickly. This will be Mylon Howard trying to break something, has good yardage out across the 35 before he's pushed out of bounds on the head to the bottom of your screen. So the Spiders start from the 37. The handoff to Savon Smith, but there's been nothing doing all day rushing the football. The Spiders. That'll give them just 30 yards rushing. Dude, you can't get a run game going. Everything else is it's going to struggle. Flare this one out to Jerry Garcia. Spins to the first down marker. Stays on his feet. Tough to bring down. Good action there by Garcia. Picks up the spider for the end of the run game at this point, right? Between the clock and the score. Coleman to throw. Over the middle to De Janeiro at the 35 to the 30. Tried to hurdle a tackler and is brought down at about the 25 yard line. Good looking. Run first. I got mean, you've got to pass yeah. first and to set up any type of run. Coleman looks to do that. He's got De Janeiro open for the Spider touchdown. Coleman to De Janeiro, 25 yards. Quick strike for the Spider. Nick DeGennaro has been the go-to receiver for Richmond. That's his third touchdown of the year. He's got him in back-to-back -back games last week against Stony Brook. The turf. Going to go to the Spider sideline here. Got to go 10 yards. 
And they'll wait for it, wait for it. I don't think they let it go 10 yards. I think it needed to go another yard. Yeah, I agree. I don't know who actually recovered it, but I don't think it would matter in getting, you know, I think they're still going to run their offense open, wide open, and doing some different things. They're going to hand it off here to Burris, breaks a couple of tackles, gets inside the 40 to the 39 yard line. So he picked up five on first down. And here's what you can do when you have veterans out there. We haven't seen that play all day. That's per game, but they'll take a shot at it here because you know they're going to be running the ball. Well, just as I say that, they pass the ball. And Copeland makes yet another catch and another first down. He has had a day today. That's one. And there's not a whole lot the Spiders can do about it yet. Burris cuts it back against the grain, gets inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. They're still picking up positive yards. Everybody knows they're running. Everybody knows. Second and eight. Zealous to the air down the sideline and making the catch at the eight yard line on it much salt this game away. Zealous stays on his feet goes into the end zone for what could be a game clinching touchdown for the Hampton Pirates. Another missed tackle there into the brick house in the, the home of the Richmond Spiders. Missed tackles there, he gets it to the end zone, drops that shoulder, he wasn't gonna be stuck. Where you think they're gonna be forever, right? And then teams have left the MEAC, they were one of them. They went to the Big South, spent five years in the Big South, and then had the opportunity a year ago to come to the CAA, and they've taken advantage of it. Taking advantage of every opportunity. 30 yards. So the Phoenix has the tribe's number. Remember, they beat them in Williamsburg last year. They came from a double digit deficit to beat them in Williamsburg, and now they beat them at home today. Yeah, I don't know if the outcome is super. Simple. The Richmond Spiders generally, uh, traditionally, one of the best defenses in the conference. Things are happening different today. Couple of pass completions here. Jerry Garcia with a nice run after catch and contact. Gets inside the 35, down to about the 33 yard line. Could rehab and be back before the end of the year, but he's one of their key offensive guys for sure. Coleman down the sideline and a leaping catch by Isaiah Wilson inside the 10 at the nine yard line. 340 remaining in the game. That's a 24 yard pickup for Wilson. Coleman swinging that one out of the backfield for Savon Smith. And he's out of bounds. Coleman on the roll to DeGenero who makes the catch but it's a very minimal gain out of bounds at the five, his first spider action looking for six here but it's going to be intercepted Stanley Garner his second interception of the game and Garner saw that ball Wilson never saw it so just one thing Wilson thought uh, something different in terms of routes and Gardner had visions of uh, taking it from house to house there, didn't he? And then he thought twice about it. <laughs> right, said, ah, right. Just take the interception at this point. That's, the game. that's discipline, because I'm telling you, most guys. Yeah. <laughs> you you would have done. I'm just going to keep it on the ground here. As sure will. Sure will. Yep. <laughs> on the ground and counting. Butts, look out, Darren Butts, the midfield, and he will just glide out of bounds at the Spider 45-yard line. And Darren Butts combined for about 175 yards on the ground, and then Zealous is pretty much taking care of the rest of it. And they can run out the clock here. The spiders have a timeout defense, so there, there's some soul searching. Got to keep it simple. Figure out, figure out what you're going to do. You got a great Maine team coming in here. Uh, we beat Maine at Maine last mm -hmm. year, so they're going to come in hungry, just like this Hampton team. Just fun.
to 14. Textbook on how to use your how to use your bye week. Absolutely. So that'll do it. It'll be a disappointing family weekend football game for the Richmond Spike B down the road. Yeah, exactly. Uh, any other situation, you're not doing this. But again, he came in not even as today's starter. So you're just going to give him an opportunity. Pass is caught by Quan Vini, who hadn't played the last couple of weeks. Spiders would like to get him back up to speed and into the wide receiver mix. So that might help his confidence a little bit. And that'll be it. That'll be the last play of the football game. A victory for the Hampton Pirates over Russ Usman's Richmond Spiders this afternoon. They win it by a score of